Hello everybody, my name is Nimad, I hope you guys are doing well, and this is episode 10 of my Ultimate Moses Guide series. In this episode, I'll be going over what I think are Moses' best shields to use in a variety of builds to not only keep ourselves alive, but also dish out some damage in return. Uh, I will also be making a follow-up video to this one, just to go over some shields that work incredibly well in some niche cases, so stay tuned for that. And there might also be a little build that I was playing on stream a few days ago, if you guys want to check that out. Um, but just before we get into the video, and speaking of streaming, I just want to let you all know that I've actually started streaming on Twitch, and so far I've been having an absolute blast, and I hope you guys have been enjoying yourselves too. You guys have been so supportive of me, not only here on YouTube, but also over on Twitch too, and I honestly cannot thank you guys enough for all of the support and all the love you guys have shown. You guys are truly awesome. Thank you so much. But if you want to join in on the fun too, I'll be putting the link to my Twitch channel in a pinned comment below in this video. So yeah, feel free to hop on in when we're live and just join in on the fun. And aside from that, let's just jump straight into the video. So as I said, this video, I'm just going to go over a few of Moses' best shields that can be used in a variety of different builds. And for the number one spot, I would rank the Old God Shield. Now, just before uh, I say rank, uh, I, this isn't going to be a tier list of sorts, but compared to all the shields Moe's can use, I do find Old God is probably the best shield she has. Not only because it has a solid capacity, not only does it have a decent recharge delay and a somewhat fast recharge rate, it can also roll with a number of different parts, as well as giving you a bit of elemental resistance and extra elemental damage. So ultimately this shield packs a punch and it just works incredibly well with basically every Mose build you can think of. So the Old God can roll with multiple different parts as I mentioned. This shield has Absorb for example, but I also have uh, an Old God with health parts. And when you have health parts, three of them to be specific, you can actually use this for an Iron Bear build as well. Now because Iron Bear scales with Moses HP, the more HP you can boost Moses up to, the higher armor Iron Bear will get. So, for example, you can have this Old God that I have on the right, the Multivitamin Old God Shield, that gives us extra health. It also gives us a bit of extra shock damage and shock resistance, which helps Moses when she's on foot. And it also, because of the health benefit, gives Iron Bear a ton of extra armor too. So yeah, Old God is an incredibly solid shield, gives us extra damage, gives us some elemental resistance, and it can also be very flexible with the parts you get. But at the end of the day, it is a well drop shield in a sense, so it is quite hard to get specific roles on that. But yeah, ultimately if you just get something that works with the elements of the weapons you're using, it's going to work incredibly well for you, I guarantee it. So, moving on from the Old God Shield, we get the 0.M. Now this is an amp shield that drops from the Valkyries in Melee 1 Takedown, and is an incredibly solid amp shield, and in my opinion one of the best for Moe's. Now you can compare this to the Rerouter or the um, one shot Shield, but the one shot Shield is pretty hard to farm in all honesty. It is a vendor, vendor shield essentially, and so unless you want to spend hours and hours farming the same vendor over and over again to get an Amp Shield, you're honestly better off doing the Malawan Takedown, killing the Valkyries a couple of times and most likely getting a version .Amp Shield. Now the prefix for the shield doesn't really matter. I have the enhanced one which means I get extra capacity but can also be a Nova variant, for example, and that's all right too. But yeah, Zero Dynam Shield is an incredibly powerful Amp Shield, and it's the shield that I used for my Metal Jacket build, which was an Amp Shield that worked with the Plague Bearers to just deal a ridiculous amount of damage. So yeah, as far as damage output goes, the Zero Dynam can help Moses do a ton of damage to bosses and mobs alike when paired with the right weapons. So yeah, that's the version Zero Dynam Shield. And moving on from that, we have the good old Transformer. Now, the Transformer shield, since day one of Borderlands 3's release, has been an incredibly solid shield. It's never fallen out of favor. It's always been a very reliable shield. It's pretty easy to get. And yeah, it just works incredibly well. It already has a 40% chance to absorb bullets, which means it's already a pretty tanky shield. And on top of that, has complete immunity to shock damage. Now, as you guys are aware, shock damage actually strips your shields a lot faster because shock does more damage to shields. But the Transformer can negate that effect entirely because you are entirely resistant to that. So combined with the fact that you already have a decent absorb chance, which basically means you have a chance to just ignore damage essentially, combined with the fact that you are completely immune to an element that is otherwise detrimental to shields, you can see where this is going and you can fully understand that the Transformer is just an incredibly solid shield overall. And now I um, I realize I didn't really go over the anointments for each shield, but 
In all honesty, I'm not really going to focus on the anoints. The focus for this episode is just on shields. I will be making a separate video that will be covering the best anoints for Moe's. But in general, I'm not really a fan of action skill end anoints on Moe's, simply because of the process of proccing those anoints. You have to get in an Iron Bear, you have to get out of Iron Bear. That takes a few seconds and you only get just a few seconds of extra damage in return. In bossing situations, it works great. But in mobbing, it's really not that great to use, and in all honesty, that's why I'm not a fan of them. But yeah, for any of the shields that I recommend in this video, you can't go wrong with extra elements. Just make sure the elements that you're using are matching to the bosses that you're fighting. So let's say you're fighting Grave Ward, for example. If you were to have uh, an anointment that gives you extra 50% extra incendiary damage on action skill end, that'll work great. But yeah, the elemental damage bonus you want on your shield should basically just depend on the type of content you plan on doing with that. So yeah, that's the Transformer Shield, and now we move on to the Big Bloom Blaster. Now, much like the Transformer, the Big Bloom Blaster has always been a solid shield for Moe's ever since day one. She has gone through a number of changes with the way Means of Destruction works, with the way her ammo regeneration works, as well as the way her shield recharges when used with certain class mods like the Blood Thunder. But since day one, the Big Bloom Blaster has always been a solid pick for Moe's. What it does, it has a 60% chance to drop a booster that restores 60% of shields, a grenade and a heavy heavy ammo as well so for example if you're using a nade spam build or a heavy weapon spam build with like the plague barrel or the back burner for example the second you get hit you have a 60 percent chance to drop a booster that can return a piece of heavy ammo and a grenade as well as restoring a fair fairly hefty chunk of your shield which is incredibly useful for pinch situations where you might not have a Bloodlord class mod to regenerate your shield very quickly, or it just helps in mobbing situations where you're taking a ton of damage, because your shield can always get topped off. Now, in return, the shield does have a somewhat low base capacity compared to something like the Old God with certain parts, or the Transformer even, but that's not a worry just because of the shield restore chance that you get from these boosters. Um, but yeah, the parts on it doesn't really matter either, I just have Fleet and Reflect, just helps. Uh, as far as functionality goes, it's really not specific for Moe's. But yeah, Big Bloom Blaster, it's a very solid shield, and has a lot of use cases as well. Very flexible shield, and helps a ton with survivability. So, that is the Big Bloom Blaster, and now we just move on to the Stopgap. Now, once again, much like the Transformer and the Big Bloom Blaster, Stopgap's always been a solid shield for Moe's since the start of the game just because it gives you complete immunity for 5 seconds. Now, that is not, uh, that's a pretty good thing in most situations. However, it does rely on making sure your shield gets topped off incredibly fast. So for example, if you were to combine a stopgap with a blood letter shield, for example, it will work quite well. The synergy there is that uh, once your shield breaks, you get 5 seconds of immunity, you chuck a couple grenades, you get a few crits with your distribution, or you just shoot a rocket launcher in the air run around in a circle to proc Russian offensive health regeneration, your shield will get filled up again, and if it breaks, you get immunity again. So that's the sort of gameplay loop that you can force with the stopgap. And yeah, it just makes Moe's a very tanky character in general. Um, but yeah, that's, uh, that's about it for the stopgap. Very solid shield, highly recommend it. But if you're looking for uh, solid damage or solid survivability, there are a few other options that are a bit more flexible in that regard. But yeah, ultimately, a stopgap is uh, it's a pretty good shield for Moe's. And yeah, that's why I'd recommend it. So moving on from that, we have the Recharger. So the Stopgap and the Recharger are both shields that uh, have effects on break. So Stopgap giving you full immunity for 5 seconds, and the Recharger giving you a full shield, basically. Uh, it's very useful to have, uh, especially if you're running a bit of an amp build, or even just a build that uh, in that's got to be in mobbing situations where you might be taking a ton of damage you can get your shield back very quickly. However, bear in mind there is an internal cooldown, but don't let that dissuade you. The shield does have a fairly decent capacity and you can get things like the um, delay rolls to make it recharge even faster. But yeah, overall it's a very solid shield and yeah, just a solid pick for most. And finally, last but not least, we have the Mendel's multivitamin shield. Now, much like the old god, this shield also gives you extra health. But whereas the old god needs specific rolls to have that, the extra health part on the Mendel's multivitamin shield is locked, essentially. And that just makes it a very easy shield to get, especially if you're running an Iron Bear build. 
the Mendel's Multibound Event Shield is a side quest reward from Athenus. And so yeah, you actually get it pretty early on, which means that you can basically get an Iron Bear build that's incredibly good up and running incredibly early. Um, but yeah, uh, as we mentioned at the start of the video, Old God Shields with health parts or just health parts in general boost Moses Max Health. And once you boost Moses Max Health, you get extra Iron Bear armor in return. So that's why I'd recommend this Mon Mendel's Multibound Shield for any Iron Bear base build. And ultimately, Moe's also benefits from having extra health, especially with the sheer amount of health regeneration she has. So like I mentioned when we were talking about the stopgap, you can use things like Russian Offensive, Vampire, and re um, Redistribution just to keep your health topped off at all times. And extra health never really hurt anyone, and it's just a very solid shield in general, as you also get a bit of health regen while your shields are full. So yeah, I guess that was it for the video. Like I mentioned, I will be covering off uh, a few extra shields in a follow-up video. That will be focusing on a few more niche cases. The shields that I went over in this video are pretty much universally applicable in most situations, which is why I wanted to make one video dedicated to that. Um, but yeah, those are the shields that I think are the best for most. If you guys enjoyed it, do let me down in the, do let me know. Sorry, in the comments down below. If you have any questions, once again, shoot them off, and I'll be sure to answer them. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See ya.